In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the day for a night effect in the Hit Film for Express video editor. To apply, to apply the effect, you left click, hold and drag it to, your dis uh, to the video clip that you want to apply it to. Let go of the left mouse button. Now that the effect has been applied, go ahead and uh, open up uh, the effects. The day for a night effect. Now you have a couple of options. You have horizon, you have near, and you have far. And uh, horizon is basically a uh, gradient that goes across um, vertically across the video clip. Now I'll go ahead and decrease the horizon so you can see that when I take it out that the gradient is decreasing and that uh, darker layer kind of just goes away. Now if you increase the horizon you have that gradient increasing and going across the image and if you go all the way to one then it uh, um, fully um, goes over the image and it doesn't show a gradient. So I would personally leave it at something like um, maybe three or uh, seven yeah I'll go for 2.5 that doesn't look too bad next you have uh, the near options you have a red gamma blue gamma brightness and saturation so what saturation uh, uh, does is decide how black and white your image looks if you decrease the saturation now this is a fully black and white video uh, video image if you increase the saturation, you actually um, allow the colors to be uh, seen through. For example, now that I've increased the saturation to 1, you can see the colors uh, being shown. And personally, I would leave it uh, saturation at 1 unless you want it. If you Unless you want the colors to be more faded out. It depends on what you're uh, going for. Uh, finally, you have brightness. And um, I would say uh, to use a uh, brighter video uh, video image, for outdoor settings and a darker uh, video image for like indoor settings because uh, um, honestly um, even um, at night unless it's really cloudy the moonlight kind of shows um, show um, you know uh, shows some uh, light into the or uh, shows some luminescence into the environment so if I if if you increase the brightness I wouldn't do it that uh, that much. I'd probably stick it to some something like 0.6 for uh, outdoor settings and um, 0.25 for indoor settings. So yeah, I'm going to stick this back to 6 since, since this is an out, outdoor setting. Finally, you have a red and uh, blue gamma. And what, uh, what these do is uh, either add or subtract red or blue to the image. If you add red to the image, I would say it would um, indicate something um, dangerous is happening uh, or violence is happening to the in the video setting in the setting of the video and then if you decrease the red it just makes the image more blue and green which matches the colors of the forest I would say and let's see I'm gonna just gonna take the red out and um, put this to oh by the way if you want to reset something you right click that uh, particular uh, option and then you just uh, left click it or cont control R also does the trick alright now for the blue gamma if you increase the amount of blue in the image it makes the image look cooler this is more suitable for a scene that's uh, near near the ocean I would say near the water this would actually would, wouldn't look too bad if you decrease the blue you increase the amount of green that shows through the image and this looks nice but if you decrease the, um, the blue gamma all the way, this uh, makes kind of an eerie green effect, which is nice for like a haunted house um, kind of a creepy feel, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to reverse that. All right. Again, you can just reset it like that. Finally, um, I think I did uh, mention saturation. Yes, I did. And so the next, uh, next options or configurations we can work with is the far option over here and this has a regular gamma which um, decides the brightness of the pixels it's uh, I won't uh, do anything with this honestly and then uh, there's uh, brightness actually for gamma if you have anything that has uh, involves glare you can probably decrease the gamma now for, you also have the brightness option and this just controls the brightness at the top at the very top and so you can actually control how strong this gradient is I would actually uh, leave it at uh, 2.6. This looks natural. And finally, you have hue, which just simply controls the color, a uh, color spectrum of the image. And you can just do that to change the colors a bit. 
I would actually decrease it to some, um, move it to something like this because it matches the dark tone of the video. Yeah, something like this. And uh, if you go, if I go ahead and play the video clip, it looks like this. And uh, that's all there is um, to it. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.